This is like truly endgame stuff. Yeah. Never. Must be nothing. Yeah, sure. Oh, opening the doors. 1407. You know what? I think I think we're just going to have this be the, the final episode. It isn't. We're just going to have one gigantic long episode. No, it's not. Just two months after the meter was discovered, the human source was already working together to find a solution. With that many minds working together, they should have had no trouble with the one. Oh, don't get my hopes up. Anyways, shrimp. Take the leap. Fine. So it doesn't look like you can make that leap. Oh, please just scream into my ear. I promise you won't st that won't save you. It'll just make my ears ring. Anyways, I suppose you've learned the ancient prophecy of crow. Learned the ancient practice of crow training. I've I've actually patented the t my technique. I call it peck heck. Step one: find a crow. Step two: let it peck you dick. If you can not get set to have at least 10 health points, the crow will see you as worthy and make, make a perch on your head. Well, until you return to the elevator, but you knew the friend will hurt you ever again. Also remember it. Let us stop the bathroom breaks. That's it. How do you know all this? I thought that was a crow and deuces. Knew everything there was about crows. And even information the government kept behind the locked doors. I love- I actually love this. It said 10 out points. feel like I need to like have him rest a little bit before I do anything else. Oh, he heals too! Son of a bitch. I never stopped the recording on OGS, yeah, so I don't know why they did that.
those assholes. Let's heal a little, buddy. Okay, where does this go? Oh, it just powers the fan. This is the episode where I actually die. I'm perishing. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. There's more around here. Oh, yo, yo. I'm surprised I'm able to hold on to this guy as long as I can. I'm sorry, buddy. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's just say one fourteen. Does that say one forty fifty? Yeah, one fifty four over fourteen fifty four. For a great bird. Awesome. Right, we gotta be close to being. Actually shows us going down. Okay. I think there's a guess on that floor that the floor that are I think Oh gosh, sorry. I think the guests on that floor are throwing a birthday party right as we speak. Because I guess I guess they were there. Their lives are so short. I call them little chuckers. Chucklers. They never have a chance to grow past the age of rebellious youth, so the the only, the only tradition that pass through their many generations. They are Frank Con the hotel office are the dangerous. Oh, as long as you get as long as you get your thirsty yeah, as long as you get your flashlight. Oh, there's really nothing about it. Little chuckler. 
I gosh, I cannot read these words. They are little chucklers, but if you're in the dark with them, they become little nibblers. Heck no. I said, there's really nothing to worry about, sir. You're big, and they're like little. So if you're not scared, are you? You can't be. You can't be if you've gone this far. Yes, I am. No, sir. Puff up that chest to beat like a drum, cause you're a, you're a man. <laughs> A competitively little man, but a man nonetheless. Tell me you're brave. Brave. Good enough. Open <laughs> the doors. Oh my god. I knew there was gonna be something. So I hope you're doing well. The storm sure is. This is the storm sure is. I think it's just throw up a wall somewhere. I feel air. If I had hair, it'd be standing up. Wait, Mr. Fight, don't go in there. Okay. Let me turn on the light. Or there we are. Shift enter now. Dude, this is the worst game of all time. I've got the candy. My hat. Jesus. Oh, do I have to use this? Oh my gosh. This is so brilliant. I say those little assholes took my hat. Say. This is remember. Remember me. Put your fucking little giggling, you little shits. Troublemakers. Burning pizza and human souls. Run, you little shits! Run!
I don't like this. Pizza, go! I'm hoping this counts. You're fucking giggling. For you little fucks. Get over here, you little shits. Still another lamp on the other side, so. Shut up. Take it with me. Oh. The race already found a solution to the chicken and crew problem. They're working on it now. I mean, they were. We're just catching up on history. Where was that door? Oh, you are... I think it was up here, actually. Let me guess, it's gonna be a dark room. Again, I am not talking much. I'm just still focusing so much because I hate these little shits. Give me my friend forever, buddy. Care. I don't know. I don't care if it doesn't work. <gasps> Yay! It was taking. Yeah, not bad. Great A shrimp. is with us. So there's something a little bit elevated with you. 
Oh my, is that shrimp? I know. He seems to like you. Please be nice for your own sake. Oh, you were just calling me. Anyway, so this has part on the meteor, which is certainly towards Earth in 2037. And this time of prosperity and peace, the human race came together to build an ultra mega nuclear plant, plant double the size of Australia. Their plan to split the meteor into tiny pieces like a meatball. When it, when it gets crushed between your teeth, conquered or vanquished, never to see the light of day again. Not the best way to do that, but there there would be a house. Con there they would house and construct the biggest, fattest, chunkiest, thickest bomb known to man, capable of destroying planets far greater than our own. And make even Saturn triple. It's so here they apparently named the size. This, they they make they named this mega nuke big boy, <laughs> just so it wouldn't backfire. Back up the big boy nuclear plant. With the most cutting edge quantum computers and an intelligent AI capable of reaching and inst reacting instantaneously to any core malfunctions. There's 10 pages about it here, so I'm so proud of what humanity has become since we put all of our minds together. We're really unstoppable. About that. What about since a woman's voice? Do you mean they're failing now, even though they've solved over and they achieved world peace and reversed aging, they can fly and breathe on the water, but turns out everything right? The meter all lies when it been a tiny meatball. Anyway, I'll get back to you when I read more. I'm pretty sure the. I'm pretty sure it was a nuke that went off and destroyed the... Come with me, shrimp. You are my best friend. Well, I know what's been going there, but I won't. You know, yeah, let's go back there. So what we got here, it's pretty cool. Oh, <gasps> shrimp. I love you, shrimp. You're the greatest boy ever. I'm actually kind of glad. Come on, buddy. It's a spike collar, too. Because you're a badass. Oh, I'd like my flashlight back, though. Hello? Okay, this is actually, this is a pretty cool mechanic. <laughs> I just see his tail. Shream. It's gonna be over for 55 minutes, okay. Again, this is gonna be a long episode. People protect me, right? I mean, I should protect, be protecting you. I don't know where to go, honestly. Oh god, that door's open. don't really know what to do. I, I'm assuming that that's gonna be like a mechanic because I have to use those things to make like a little like, way to get up. I don't know, I don't know where to go. Maybe I should have made this into like a little... So, well, I mean, of course it's gotta be this one.
I was gonna say, holy moly. Well, I think I know where to go now. The shrimp won't be able to come with me. Please don't hang. I have no choice but to fight. Fight what? Their cage is skip. Oh, that's the guy. Get back when you hear the scream. Alright, champ. I guess I'm gonna go off to fight a boss. Okay, I'm just I'm just bad at this. Where you at, buddy? Jesus. Oh, I didn't have where shrimp? Shrimp? I don't like this. I don't know where shrimp is. Just bad at jumping like this. Oh my god. I'm okay, like might as well just call me the fucking cuphead. Sorry, the cuphead journalist. You have no choice but fight. I know you said that. I know you said that. The screams will shake you into a fine dust cockroach. Oh, so I know when I die. Oh, it's like I that out the wall. I never needed it. Time now, don't bring him. Just next time, don't bring the fucking birds. Yeah, 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 I know. You have no choice but fight. I know you said that. Shut up. You might enjoy shutting yourself up for a chance. I'm helping you. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's 
go, big boy. That can't be it. That can't be it. I, I knew that. Shrimp, you asshole. There's gonna be a third one, there has to be. This music's too bumping right now. I'm just leaving. Oh, okay, there he is. Don't do this to me. Don't tell me I'm just leaving shrimp behind. C minus. I'll take that. But that's going to do it for right now. So, uh, yeah, it looks like the next part's going to be the last of the upturn. And, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything, but yeah, it's most likely going to be a pretty big episode. But that's all I got for right now, so if you like what you saw, you know, like and subscribe. And if you think my pain and torture when playing horror games is funny, and you think that it might uh, brighten somebody else's day up, then maybe share this video. But that's all I got for right now, so hope you all take care.